All right, so here's what I did to make a Jag uh, with a hot glue gun. This is a 25 caliber barrel. I'm using a 25 caliber lead pellet. And this uh, stops the hot glue from, you know, traveling further down the bore than I want. Uh, before I push this down, the back of the pellet, that cup in the skirt, uh, will actually act as... Um, the hot glue will form to that as well. The nose of the jag will form to that. And so, push it down to whatever depth you need, uh, which, you know, translates to the length that the hot glue will form over the jag. Now, the next step is critical. Uh, otherwise, it's a pain to get it out and you're going to ruin the jag. I'm using... Uh, silicon grease, I'm lining the bore, just a very light coat of this so that the hot glue doesn't stick to it. And I just use a Q-tip to do that, it seems to work fine. Probably help to put some around the outside too. I haven't tried that yet. Okay, next step hot glue into the bore. Now just put it all the way in there. It helps to have like a needle tip to do this. And you want to get it until it hits the end of the breech. I keep the needle in there just to keep it warm. You can feel it filling up. See if I can get this thing to load a new stick. There we go. All right. So now that that is full, if you can get that centered like that, great. Uh, you could probably use a lathe to do this as well. You know, just chucking the barrel and then uh, using uh, something on the tailstock to feed the uh, the brass jag into the barrel. Uh, you could also hit the barrel with propane to heat it up. Uh, I'm going to see if I can pull this out without propane. You know, hitting the side so that it warms it and loosens the, or softens the... Uh, hot glue. All right, let me let that cool a little bit. There you go. I don't think I got that in there nearly as deep as I wanted to. That See if I can get this to focus. Uh, I'll edit in some photos of that, but uh, it's a perfect mold of the bore, you know. So I let that cool off. It's still a little bit warm. Let it cool down, and that's in there pretty good. Again, usually I don't. I've only done this a few times. I like it to come back further, you know, than this. That that right there seems like it's out there too far. I'd either cut it off or uh, 
I'd probably just take this off and redo it so that it's further down so it doesn't pop off. You want to have as much of the jag hanging on to it as possible, if that makes sense. All right, now that it's hardened, rigidity, it's not coming off. It's on there pretty well. Uh, if you need to get the jag back, obviously you could heat it up, melt the material off, you know, clean it off, um, or cut it off probably. But yeah, it's on there pretty good. So that one's possibly ready to go. Uh, I probably want it to be a little more uniform. And you could use these as well, you know, the uh, the brass uh, brushes or nylon brushes, but I don't like using these because they bend too easy. And I'm sure that if you've used these to lap, you know what I'm talking about. So there you have it.